Hello and welcome to this different type of video, which is connected to my current Shogun 2 Shimazu campaign that is going on the channel right now. If you haven't seen that yet, you should go and watch it. Someone in the comments of that video suggested that even though I'm going for Shimazu Heavy Gunners, uh, they might not make it into the Let's Play at all, and if they do, it'll probably be really late in the campaign. So they said, why not make a video, probably, he said at the end, but I figured I'd do it now. Um, where I just basically have some fun with Shimazu Heavy Gunners, and that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. So this is the Shimazu Heavy Gunner appreciation post, kind of. Uh, so we're gonna start off with a, a, a battle of just a load of them, uh, fully experienced against a load of Yari Ashigaru, just for fun. I'm using the Death Ball map, let's just load into it now. Uh, Death Ball map basically means that uh, it's, it's a mod, which uh, there'll be a link in the description. Um, which basically allows me to just set up my forces really close to the enemy and I can just immediately get into the action, which is much better than having to wait for them to get all the way over to you, which takes a very long time. Uh, right, so let's set up a bunch of these bozos. Um, let's set them off slightly backwards because we do, we do want to set up and, and prepare a little bit. Right, I'm going to do like that and I'm going to put three units on either flank, just like that. And then, put three on that side. Wow, that's crazy. I put the general here. I brought the general because I want to use standard fight so they, they fire even faster. I'm going to put everyone in both guard mode as well as ranked fire. I know ranked by ranked fire is like, why the fuck would you ever use that? Because it's an absolute shambles. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm choosing to use it here because it actually works uh, kind of well in this particular situation. I don't normally necessarily recommend it, but, you yeah, know, it's not too bad in this particular case. So you're probably gonna get rid of the UI in a minute and also, um, uh, also, uh, go into slow motion for that proper action. Because if you haven't, if you ever see, if you, uh, if you've never seen Shimazu Heavy Gun as an action, you've got something common, coming even, matey. Um, yeah, they are, they're definitely a little bit different than the usual usual stuff. Uh, anyway, um, as the first shots get fired, probably around here somewhere. Oh, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna take the first? Right, did I take them off fire away or somehow? No, I didn't. Oh wait, no, this, this, <laughs> this is because they're on the... <laughs> this is because they're on the, on ranked fire. It, it, they, for some reason, take about half hour to get the first volley off. But uh, once they've... There we go. Once they've got the first volley off, then the second one comes very quickly afterwards. But, as the action gets underway, I'm going to pause the video here because I have a sponsor for this video. So, a very quick word about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Gemstone Legends, a relaxing free-to-play puzzle RPG for mobile devices. This game features an exclusive gem matching system where you can match gems not only in straight lines, but diagonally as well, adding a new layer of strategy. Alongside the matching of gems, you will have an assortment of dragons to support your lineup of heroes who all have unique abilities such as healing, buffing, taunting, and damage dealing. All heroes in Gemstone Legends are custom made and have their own unique skill animations and moves, and they range from uncommon all the way to legendary. You will take your dragons and heroes through a campaign facing off against all kinds of enemies of different elements, and it's up to you to use the right heroes against the right enemies to win your battles. Another way to win battles is by equipping your heroes of all kinds of gear that you will get from defeating your foes. So equip your heroes with the best weapons and armor available to be the most effective. Speaking of being effective, if you download the game on your Android or iOS using the links in the description and pinned comment below, or by using the QR code on screen, you will get $50 worth of in-game content including an epic hero. You can also find me in the game under the name Smart Donkey. So download the game and join me in Gemstone Legends. Alright, so now that that is out of the way, time to get back into some heavy gunner action. I'm gonna just go into slow-mo now, turn off the UI, and just enjoy ourselves. Right, so yeah, if you've never seen um, heavy gunners, this is what they do. They hit a unit, and basically anything that gets hit, the bullets fly through as well. Uh, the, the units actually fly backwards, which um, it's especially good against cavalry, which we'll show off in a minute as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, a couple of these battles, probably. I don't think these guys are fired at all yet. I don't see any smoke, so this should be fun. We should be able to watch these ones probably unfold in just a second here. Watch them shoot at something else entirely. I'm just missing. Oh, oh no, that's perfect. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. This should be a look at the, even these guys back here got, got hit from this unit being hit on. Hit on? Oh. You want to go on a date with me? 
Uh, but yeah, Shimaji Heavy Gunners are, are just a thing of beauty. They're, they're so unique because there's not a single unit in the game that does what they do. Obviously, you have. My lord! A glorious <laughs> My lord! Uh, obviously, you have quite a, a few different unique things because obviously there's other units. Oh, I totally forgot to put you in stand and fight, didn't I? That's very silly. Doesn't really matter, uh, to be fair. Um. Yeah, there's um, there's obviously you got firebomb throwers and stuff and things like that. You got the thunderbus cavalry who do a lot of damage. You have things that do unique things, but nothing in the game does what the Shimazu, Shimazu heavy gunners does. <laughs> that guy just flying backwards, which is make units literally fly from a bullet. Obviously, you know a cavalry charge will make some units fly a little bit as well, but nothing, nothing near. What the Shimazu Heavy Gunners can do. Now, obviously, it's uh, becoming a bit of a, a shambles now, but this is why I left them on guard mode as well, because some of them will still be firing randomly, That the ones that are not in combat, like that guy just fired, and he hits something back here. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's just fucking great. That's like, Shimazu Heavy Gunners are so cool, but it's just a shame that their uh, recruitment requirements is um, so ridiculous, really. One of the best parts, actually, is when the, the entire army is going to rout probably seconds from now. Yeah, it looks like a lot of routing going on. And when they do, all these units are gonna get back into formation and just fire off another volley at the units running away from them. Like that's been happening over here. I should probably select these ones and actually bring them over. Although I'm assume assuming, I'm assuming it's uh, a little bit too late. This unit partially looking the wrong way. This guy is just very disinterested in the entire thing that's going on right now. I enjoy recording videos like this sometimes. Just um. Just a little bit of fun. I want to do two more of these. I want to do one where I show off how stupendously strong they are against the cavalry, which you wouldn't expect because it's a, you know it's a um, a gun unit or a range unit. Usually, cavalry are quite good against range units, but if they get the chance to fire a frontal volley at incoming cavalry, then it is devastating. It will just ruin. It just basically, they all get knocked off their horses. It's fucking phenomenal. The only thing you don't want to do. Is uh, you don't want to use ranked fire or fire by rank against cavalry because they fire far too slowly for that. Like the first volley with, with rank, uh, fire by rank, uh, it takes for some reason it takes very long to actually happen. Once the first one is done, the second one comes very quickly afterwards, and then it speeds up pretty quickly. But the first volley is always really slow for some reason, and cavalry will actually just charge them before they even reach. Uh, so anyway, let's. Um Let's not even bother bringing the general. Let's just bring five of these bozos. And then we're gonna bring five of your fine... No, let's bring larger cavalry. Let's bring katana cavalry, just to showcase. They're probably gonna be in kind of an awkward formation, but that's okay. All right, let's do that. Five Shimazu heavy gunners against five katana cavalry boys. Who will win? I'm, I'm taking the Atomo, by the way, because I thought it's kind of ironic that we are using um, gunpowder units. Or, yeah, well, yeah, gunpowder units, basically, uh, against um, the gunpowder clan, if you will. I'm going to spread them out as far as possible here, because, oh god, because we, uh, like I said, I don't want to use uh, fire by rank in this case. I just want to spread them out as far as possible so more men will fire. I might move, move around a little bit like that. Actually, I'll do it now. The AI, AI is probably, uh, is likely to set up, like, four units in the front and one behind or something like that. Maybe, yeah, three and two. They always do kind of awkward things. I will still put them in, um, not loose formation, that would have been terrible. Right, so, yeah, these couple units are gonna get absolutely fucking bum bamboozled here. I'm gonna fly off their horses. Oh god, no, wait, no, I've ruined it all. I forgot to go into slow mode and turn off the UI. <laughs> I mean, we got to see that pretty well, though. I mean, you guys did, I was too busy. What the fuck just happened? Oh no, never mind, they just stumbled. I thought they flew off their horses, like, way, way after the shots were fired. Uh, anyway, as you can see, um, that unit is just basically completely gone. Okay, you need to actually... Hello? I can't select it. Or I can, but it's just being weird. You need to go like that, because there's a unit coming. You guys are okay, as it turns Our out. General is in grave danger, danger, my lord! lord. Alright, fair enough. Wait, what happened over here? Did... What the... Wait, hold on, did we just fire... Was there one cavalry that ran around here and it just fired at my own unit? Look at all these guys getting back up. Why? They must have got a shot by them. Why did I miss that? Son of a bitch. Oh, we're about to see some good shit over here, I think. If they can get a volley off in time, which actually, I don't know if they will be able to. Oh, some shots going off. Look at that. That was three shots. Killed like, what, 9, 10, 11 of them? Something along those lines. It's crazy. 
the amount of damage these guys do, it's phenomenal. Alright, I can select that unit. Oh, is this, is this about to happen? I don't think I'm going to need to change them. They actually may have fired recently, so I don't even know if they've got um, shots remaining to fire at this unit. But if they do, oh boy, is it going to be good. But yeah, you can see how, like, you know, obviously you have to properly get shots off and stuff. But if you get a full, a full volley against the cab, maybe I'll do a 1v1 against the cab in a minute. Just Oh, no, that's pretty good. That's a fairly decent showcase of what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll do. I don't need to do a 1v1 anymore. That, that one early on and then that one kind of show what I was talking about. Absolutely amazing. There's actually a couple guys over here I haven't fired yet. They might be out of the angle. Actually, no, they're reloading from previous shots. Anyway, they're routing, so I think that's it. Uh, good job, everyone. Good jobs all around. Oh, they actually get some more shots off there. All right, now I want to do, I want to do one more. Now, this one's the most difficult to set up. I'm going to have to actually micromanage this one here. What I'm going to do... I've done this before a long time ago, where I set up a, uh, a single archer... Um, oh, sorry, a single uh, Yari Ashigaru, and I, I basically kaya him with my general in a circle, and then got all, like, uh, just basically a ton of uh, warrior monks to fire at the same time to completely obliterate the unit in one go. I want to I want to re recreate that, except in this case, the Shimazu Yabu Gunners only have a range of 100 rather than 200, so it's going to be a lot more difficult to set up. I actually want one more of you guys. Uh, so let's do just that. I'll have... I'll have six of them. I think six should be fine. I can make a little hexagon with that. I'll fully upgrade it, of course. I need the general in this case. In fact, I'll take a light calf. That'd be better. Um, and I'll upgrade that one too, just to make sure he doesn't route or something. All right, that's that's good. Uh, and then I want a single Yari Ashigaru. All right, so this is going to be probably kind of difficult setup, but I'm going to give it my best. What do you guys think of this kind of video? Let, let me know in the comments um, what you think of the old appreciation posts. I, I would, I'm sure I would love to do one of these for uh, like Dunderbus Cavalry, Revolver Cavalry to be honest as well, in um, in Fall of the Samurai. There's there's quite a few units I would love to do an appreciation post for. Alright, so I'm, let's uh, try and set this up in a reasonable manner. Alright, so this is actually not exactly what I meant, because obviously quite a few spaces for units there, so I may have to go like that. But the problem is I need to leave a gap to actually lure the unit into first, so I'm gonna have to not close the gap still. Just leave you over here, or put you over there and then this unit runs over there. Uh, all of them of course need to be off fire at will, that would be kind of silly. Uh, I'll put them on guard mode, I will not put them on Ranked fire. Oh, I also I need to make sure that it's actually in, everyone's in range to fire. Are you facing the wrong fucking way? What am I doing here? Uh, okay, so technically everyone would be in range if I fire exactly when... I may have to make slight compromises here. This is definitely diff more difficult to set up. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Alright, so like that and then... Well, actually, yeah, just this unit there and then the other one runs over here to fill that gap once the cavalry is inside, and in, well, once the enemy unit is inside. Alright, let's, uh, I don't want to double speed this too long, I actually want to normal speed this for the most part. This is, it's uh, a bit of a long setup, but this should be very satisfying if I can make it happen. They should keep following the Ashiga, or the cavalry, because obviously that's a, a nicer target for them. Oh fuck, I lied. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hello? Okay, they are chasing me now, but that's not really helpful, is it? Alright, hold on, let's run you away for a second. I should have made the gap bigger, I should have set them up later. Okay, hold on, follow me! I'm here, I'm right here, friend! Alright, fine, follow this unit inside then, that's fine. That'll work too, kind of. God, but I'm ruining the fucking... Maybe I just... Oh, I don't... I... Oh, God, why don't you follow the cavalry? Maybe... Oh, I know why it is, right, hold on. I need to redo this. I know why this is. It's because that's my general. Well, I'm I, I'm pretty sure that's why it is. It's because it's my general. Um, I should I, I could have just placed that one on the other side and it would have been, or like at the back basically. Uh, you know what? I'll uh, I'll edit this out until we get to the point where I just was. All right. When I uh, I should have I should also clarify when I said uh, that was my general. I of course meant uh, that he was uh, my captain. Yes basically a better description, but this time I, I made the uh, light cavalry captain, so they should 
more likely focus. I've also made the gap a little bit bigger, but I have to set this up pretty quickly. I'm actually going to start getting... No, I can't, yo. Yo. Um, I have to start getting into position. I'll just start walking into position. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need to be there on time. Uh, so that this actually, you know, if I can only get five units firing, fair enough. But um, I do need to do this quickly. Because otherwise, it's too late. Alright, you know what, I'll send him in. Just kind of tr try and run him through. While not killing too much, because that's the whole, you know, the whole point is that we don't want to kill anything with these fucking cavalry. It's definitely more difficult to set up with this than it is with anything else. So, I mean, most units are in, in position now, and they're pretty nicely centered. So let's just uh, open fire, I think. Oh, God. There we go. Got it kind of done in time. Oh. Oh. There we go. Now we're... Now we're... Now we're cooking with fire. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, that was satisfying. That was, that was worth it. We got three men surviving. I think that's it. Oh, no, there's a couple over there as well. Just hanging around. Oh, that guy just got... Grazed. Oh, lots of them are getting up though. That's of course the uh, the thing. They, a lot of them get killed, a lot of them get knocked down and just get back up again. I get knocked down. I'm assuming they've already routed as well. So I think the game is going to end in a second. Oh yes, a second proper vo Actually, I mean, that was just a, you know, wasn't in position yet. Just getting their vo volley off as well now. Any stragglers that were thinking about getting away? Oh, how many survived though? I want to see. Ten. Fuck me, there's still ten alive. Holy shit, did not expect that. I wonder if you could find all 10 of them. There's one right there. So obviously that one guy standing there. Is that guy still alive? No. That guy isn't alive. There's, there must be a bunch on the floor. Yeah, there's one right here. This guy... <laughs> this guy's still alive. Alright, <laughs> apparently. There's, and there's a bunch more who are, have to be on the floor somewhere. I mean, if I hover over one of them, it should light up the rest as well, but... Actually, no. I don't even... Yeah, no, it does. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. Okay, fair enough. Anyway... That was fun, wouldn't you say? Now, I think that's enough appreciation posting for the Shimazu Heavy Gunners. So I think we're, uh, we'll leave that there. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. And do let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. It was kind of as a joke, because uh, again, I might actually be able to recruit the Shimazu Heavy Gunners in the campaign. But I just wanted to do something like this. And I could certainly see, me, see myself doing this for a couple other units as well, just as a just for fun basically um so yes please do let me know also remember download the game gemstone legends all the links are in the description um and th yeah th thank you and again thank you for the for gemstone legends for sponsoring the video until next time have a good day and goodbye